Online. Welcome to Learn with SOS. My name is Steve Sebastian Osu, KNUST School of Business, and today I'm honored to walk you through business mathematics, ISD 151. In this video, we're going to have a look at commission, but before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more wonderful and educative content like this, and also for the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to a lot of people around the world. And lastly, for a good practice, I will advise you to get your calculators ready, your pen and your notepads, so that you follow along if you really want to understand, because you are going to do calculations here. So it will be very bad if you just fold your arms and try to listen to me. And at some point too you can pause the video to do your own calculation and i'll give you assignment as we move along you can check the description box you see my number my whatsapp number or my email you can whatsapp me to send me your answer or if you want further clarification all right so um let's crack on now in this video we're going to have a look at what is commission we're going to define commission. You look at the essence of commission in business and you will end with the types of commission. Okay, commission. What is it? Commission is simply an amount that is paid to a sales officer or an agent for performing a transaction or a business on behalf of an individual or organization. So when you perform something on behalf of someone, be it an individual or an organization, that amount given to you for that work done is commission. And it is calculated as a percentage or proportion of the total sales or the total revenue or the total amount collected or earned from the transaction. So you see, from the definition, most of us have earned commission before. Some of us used to sell before coming to the university. Even some of us still sells. We are agents or we are sales officers for some companies. So at the end of the day, the amount given to us, which is part of the total sales we made, is what we call commission. And mostly it's in percentage. So for example, if I tell you, I will give you 5% of the sales you make today or I'll give you 10% of the sales you will make today. So let's assume you made a sale of 100 Ghana cities and I promise to give you 10%. That means your commission is going to be worth 10 Ghana cities. That is commission. So the formula is commission is equal to or is tantamount to the sales that is the revenue the total revenue or the amount involved times the rate of commission which is usually given in percentage or as a proportion so commission i take it again commission is tantamount to the sales times the rate of commission which will be given to you in the question so you can say commission c is equal to S as sales times R. That's the rate of commission. Don't forget this formula. Commission is equal to sales times R. We are going to use this formula throughout this um, lesson. And sometimes too, you wouldn't be asked to find commission. Sometimes they'll give you the commission, they'll give you the rate of commission and you'll be asked to find the sales, the amount involved. Sometimes they will give you the rate, they will give you, um, they will give you the commission, they will give you the sales. You have to find the rate. So if you know how to do your change of subjects very well, you can um, find a way out. So right now we know what commission is, and some of us have earned commission. Now let's move on. Now, some organizations require their sales staff to make a certain level of sales before they earn a commission or their basic salary. And this level of sales that the officer must make is what we know as a quota. <coughs> Sorry. 
a quota is a level of sale or an amount that an agent or sales officer must meet to earn a commission or their basic salary so in some organization they don't just give you a percentage of the sales you make they will give you a target for you to meet before they give a commission and the idea is to push you to do more so for example we are we, we have a company we, we, we produce pen and we sell pens you are a sales officer i tell you that um the quota or the level that you have to sell is 100 ghana cities so i'll give you a commission if your sales exceeds or is more than 100 ghana cities so if you're able to sell more than 100 ghana cities that is when you are going to earn commission so here the 100 ghana cities become your quota that means if you're not able to sell above the quota you are not earning any commission so even if you sell 80 ghana cities which is not up to 100 ghana cities you are not earning anything so that is quota so where quota exists quota is like a target or a threshold it's like i can say that um all first year students reading business mathematics the least mark or your target for you to move to second year or first year second semester is to get 60 in business mathematics that means all those who fail to get 60 percent have failed so here the 60 is like a quota a target or a threshold so that is how the quota works in, in in business transactions if you don't meet that target you are not earning anything now when or where a quota exists the commission is calculated on a commission amount don't forget where commission when, when calculating commission and you are given a quota the commission is calculated on the excess of the quota for example if your quota is 100 ghana cities and you were able to make a total sale of 500 ghana cities your commission is going to be calculated on the 500 ghana cities minus your quota so it will be 500 ghana cities minus 100 cities so your your commission will be the ss 400 you made on the quota don't forget this thing take note where quota exists the commission is calculated on the ss or above the quota so if the quota is 5000 ghana cities and you and, and, and you sold 7000 ghana cities the difference between what you sold and the quota that is what the commission is going to be calculated on so i take it again where a quota exists commission is calculated on a commission amount and the commission amount is the sales minus the quota so that's the ss so if the sales is 100 cities and your quota is 50 cities the rest 50 cities is your commission amount so the commission amount is the amount on which the commission is what calculated or paid which is the excess on the quota now let's look at an example so at this juncture i expect you to take your calculators with you and follow along frank <coughs> sorry Frank made a sale of 4,000 last week. If his rate of commission is 4%, how much was his commission? So he wanted to know how much Frank earned after performing that transaction. So we write a formula down. Commission is equal to sales times what rate of commission. Now, we don't know the commission. From the question, the sale was 4,000. 
So we're going to multiply the 4,000 by the 4%. That is the rate of commission. And 4%, if you change it to a decimal, you get 0 0.04. So just pick your calculator. You multiply 4,000 by 4% or 0 0.04, and you're going to get 160. So that means Frank made a sale of 160 as commission. It's very easy. Not so good. Let's move on. Okay, let's look at example two. A sales officer earns a commission of 5.5% on total sales. If in a given month, the officer received an amount of 755 cities as commission, what was the level of sales? You should leave your answer in two decimal places. With this question, you are given commission. From the question, you are given commission. And you are given the rate of commission. But the sales wasn't given. What do we do? So first thing, if you don't want trouble, just write a formula down. Commission is equal to sales times rate of commission. Put in the value so that you see what is missing. So commission is 755 equal to sales. We use S to denote sales times. The rate is what? 0 0.055. That is 5.5% 5 .5 as decimal. So now we have, we, have, we have an equation, linear equation. So we have 755 is equal to S times 0 0.55. We are looking for the sales. So we have to divide both sides by what? 0 0.55. So dividing 755 by 0 0.55 will give you the um, the sales. So the commission divided by the rate will give you the sales. So if you do your calculation well, you're going to get 13,727.27. So the level of sales for that month is what? 13,727.27. The question said you should leave your answer in two decimal place. Don't forget every question you are solving. Don't just focus on just the answer. Look at the instructions given. So that is the amount of sales the sales officer made. Let's move on. Now let's look at this example three. Stephen, alliances broker received. 2500 as commission for selling a house for 58750 what was his rate of commission so this time they are looking for the rate of commission so what do we do first and write the formula down what is the formula commission is equal to sales times rate of commission so now let's see how it is solved so that's the formula C is equal to S times R. Then put the data down. Commission is 2,500. Sales is 58,750. R, you don't know. That is what we are looking for. So now you put the data into the equation. So we're going to get 2,500 is equal to 58,750 times the R. At this juncture, what do we do? We divide both sides by 58,750. Good for you to get the rate. So dividing um the commission by the sales will give you the rate as zero point zero four two five five. So that is the rate of commission. So it's basically change of subjects. If if you get a concept irrespective of how the question is twisted, you can find a way out. So like I said, commission is equal to sales times the rate of commission always you get two then we asked to find the remaining good so the rate is what 4.26 and it's always in percentage so always multiply by 100 percent and mostly we leave it in two decimal places unless otherwise stated by the examiner or in the question okay let's move on 
So example four a sales agent for the shop right more receives a ten percent commission on sales above his quota. If his quota is twenty thousand, determine his commission in a month that he made a sale of forty five thousand eight hundred. So with this question, there is quota inside. Quota is the level of sales you need to make before you earn commission. So we need to put the data down. Okay. So now, where there is quota, commission is equal to the commission amount times the rate of commission. Because here there is a threshold or a target you have to meet so if you look at the question you pick all the data from the question so now the commission amount is the sales minus the quota so from the question the sales was how much 45,800 and the quota is what 20,000 so the commission amount is the difference between the sales and the quota so that will be 45,800 minus 20,000 and that will give you 25,800 that is the commission amount that is what the commission is going to be paid on like I said earlier on so now your commission will be called to the commission amount times the rate so you multiply the commission amount that is 25,800 by the rate that is 0 0.10 and the answer is 2,580 Ghana cities so that was the commission he made in that month so please don't forget the moment there is quota, always subtract the quota from the sale before you multiply by the rate of commission. Because for the quota, you are not going to earn anything on the quota. You are going to earn the extra you did on the quota. That is why we take away the quota from the sales. Don't forget that. It's a sin if you forget that. Now, let's go to the types of commission. So right now, we can calculate commission without giving a quota. That is, you multiply the sales by the rate. Also, when giving a quota, you just have to take the quota away from the sales to get a commission amount. Then you multiply by the rate. Now, let's go to the types of commission. Generally, there are about five types of commission. You see even more than that, but we are going to limit ourselves to these types. So the first commission that you want to talk about is what we call straight commission. Straight. So this type of commission, the agent or the salesman's earnings is based on commission alone. So nothing more nothing less so all that you will get is your commission no extra benefits no incentive no fringe benefits nothing as the name kuno it just straight so for example anna earns a five percent commission on sales what is her earnings if her sale is two thousand it is simple 2,000 multiplied by 5%. That is your commission. It is straight. So commission is what? Sale times um, the rate of commission. That is 2,000 times 0 0.05. And that will give you 100 cities. Simple. So that is straight. So you see, in the previous example, most of the examples that we were dealing with were straight commission. Let's move on to the next type of commission. With this one, please try on your own. 
you can check the description box you see my number you can whatsapp me with your answer or you can discuss among your friends the answer so precious earns a 10 percent commission on sales what is her earning if her sale is seventy five thousand two hundred? i hope i believe you get it correct let's go to salary plus commission so this type of commission the agent or the salesperson salary or earning is or comprise one fixed salary plus a commission when you talk about basic or fixed salary for that one whether you sell or you don't sell you'll be paid it's fixed it's big salary for example in in in, in our company whether you sell or you don't sell, we are going to give you 100 cities. Just for being a staff, it is basic, it's fixed. Then, if you sell this amount, you're going to get commission on that. So at the end, your total earnings will be the basic salary you get plus any commission you earn. So oftentimes, the agent or sales officer has to meet a certain quota to earn the salary let's look at an example a sales agent received a monthly salary of 2450 that is the basic salary it's fixed for that one he or she will receive it every month plus commission of 4.8 percent on all sales above 25,000. that is the quota don't forget when you hear all sales above that means there is a target you need to go about the target so that is the quota twenty five thousand. what is his total earning if his total sales for the month is sixty three thousand so now basically his total earnings will be the monthly salary or the basic salary plus the commission that he's going to make for the monthly salary we know from the question we know is two thousand four hundred and fifty so in this question we need to calculate his commission but here he was given a quota so first thing we need to write a formula down don't forget there are so many ways of attempting this question so commission is equal to what commission amount times rate of commission that is when there is quota and the commission amount is what the sales minus the quota so we can first take the quota away from the sales then whatever you get so if you take 63,000 that is the sales minus 25,000 that is the quota you get what 38,000 that is the commission amount so the commission amount will be so the commission will be 38,000 times the rate that is 4.8. So that will be 0 0.048. And that will give you what? 1,824. So the total earning will be the basic salary or the monthly salary of 2,450 plus the commission he earned. 1824 if you add them together you're going to get 4274 that is the total total enemies we want to add everything you earn so this one you earn a salary plus your earning so we add all the two together for us to know your total earnings An example, an agent received a commission of 7.2% on all sales above 15,000, aside her monthly salary of 2450. What is her total earning if her total sales for the month is 34,000? I want you to try this question on your own. You can WhatsApp me with your answer or you can discuss among your friends try your hands on it 
now we have um salary plus bonus commission this type of commission the sales agent receives a monthly salary plus a commission and a bonus for exceeding a certain quota so it's like salary commission and bonus see the previous one was different this one is salary commission and a bonus it is usually used to encourage sales performance on the sales staff so let's look at this question and see how it works tracy is a representative of a supermarket she receives a monthly salary of 18700 that is a big salary plus 5.75 commission of all sales exceeding 37000 so the 37000 is the quota and a bonus of 1000 if he would exceeds 80000 last month she had a total sales of 83900 how much was her commission first question then how much was her total earnings i hope you understand the question so now you need to first find her commission so now commission because there is quota in the question commission is equal to the commission amount times the rate of commission and to get a commission amount take the quota away from the sales so commission amount is what sales minus quota and now our sales is what from the question she made a total sales of 83,900 so 83,900 minus 37,000 and that will give you um, 46,900 that is the commission amount so you are going to multiply the rate by the commission amount and that will give you the commission so the first question is answered just take your time and do his thematic so first thing to get a commission amount subtract the quota from the sales multiply the commission amount by the rate to get a commission don't forget where quota exists the commission is calculated on the excess on the quota that is all so the answer is 2696.75 then the second question you want the total earnings so with with tracy's total earnings she gets a monthly salary that is one she gets a commission that is two and she gets a bonus so we are going to add three things here you know the money salary as what from the question she received a monthly salary of 18700 plus the commission she has made right now that is 2696.75 and she will receive a bonus if she is able to sell above 80000 and looking at her total sales she made 83000 so that means She's going to get a bonus of what? Thousand. So we're going to add all these strange things together to get her total earnings. So if you add all the three together, what you get is Tracy's total earnings. So we have an example here. Jaden is a sales rep. For logistics year one company limited he receives a monthly salary of 2700 that is a basic order fixed salary plus 6.3 percent commission of all sales exceeding 24,000 and a bonus of 100,000 if he exceeds 60,000 last month he had a total sales of 59,000 calculate his total earnings 
this question is an assignment try to solve it and send me the solution for clarification or this question you can see Jaden because he get the money so he will be able to tell you the correct figure good so you want to know his commission and how much was his total earnings now we have something we call graduated commission it's a type of commission in which the total earning of the sales agent is based on commission rate for different levels so with this type of commission every level you get has a different commission every level you get has a different commission so it is also a type of commission that is um, used as an incentive to encourage sales officers to increase the volume of sales or that perform because every sale you make there's commission so maybe uh, from a to b you get one commission b to c different kind of commission and c to d so it goes it's, it's what we call it's graduated from here to here commission from here to here commission so let's look at an example here. Mensen's total sales for September was 27,500. That, that was the total sales for the month. How much was his total commission if she is paid 15% commission of the first 10,000? 10% on the next 10,000 and 5% on all other sales. So you see from this question, there, the, the commission is graduated. So the first 10,000, the next 10,000 and the rest and each of them has it on what commission. So let's look at the solution. So the total commission will be the commission on different levels of sales times the rate of commission at the different levels so let's calculate the first commission the first commission is on the first ten thousand so here the commission will be what the sales times the rate of commission for the first ten thousand so if you multiply ten thousand by 0 0.15 because the first rate was what 15 percent and that will give you thousand five so that means the first thousand he has earned how much so the first 10,000, he has earned how much? 1,500. Let's calculate the commission on the next 1,000. The next 1,000 to the rate was 10%. So the next 1,000 will be, so you see, if you look at the total sales, we have 2,000 inside. So that means he will, he will earn the first 1,000 and he will earn the second 1,000. The commission on the second 1,000. So that will give you... 10,000 times the rate, 0 0.10. So he ends 1,000 on the second sales. And the rest, so if you subtract, so we have taken 20,000 away. So what is left? 7,500. And the question says, whatever is left is 5%. So I'm going to multiply 5% by the residue, or what is left. And that is 7,500 by 0.05. And that will give you 375. That is graduated commission. Every level you make, you get commission. So had the total sales been 1,500, how much would you think, sorry, um, 15,000. Had the total sales be 15,000, how much will be the the total commission so that means the person will earn a commission on the first ten thousand the first because after the first ten thousand what is left is five thousand which can't even cover for the next ten thousand so you add all the three together that will give the person's total commission so that will be thousand five plus one thousand plus three seven five and that will give you the total value. 
okay now we have what we call the override commission an additional commission paid to a sales supervisor or head of department based on store sale or the sale of the representatives who work under the supervisor so please take note override commission is an additional commission it's an extra commission and it is not paid to any ordinary person at all it is paid to the head of department based on the store sales don't forget the overall store the sales they will make is what we calculate the override commission on or it can be calculated on all the representatives under the supervisor so this commission is for the bosses alone the override commission don't forget is for the senior members not the agent or the sales staff don't forget you can meet an mcq question like that override commission is for the bosses the senior men the big men the hod's and the supervisors not the agents so this is usually calculated as a percentage of the store sales after the store quota so as we have um personal quota to we have a store quota and also we have store returns sometimes customers will buy goods and due to one or two reasons whether the goods are out of date or they are damaged they can return the goods and and, and in that sense we calculate and we deduct the returns from the total sales so now let's have another let's look at another question here sometimes to understand some of these concepts you need to make it practical if you sell a good for example if you sold a goose or goose worth four thousand and a customer brought some of the goods worth thousand how many have you sold because some has been retained you've not sold all you sold what you sold minus the return so when whenever a customer brings a good in it's like it hasn't been sold so we have to deduct the returns goods returns from the total sales which makes sense good so Jaden again supervisor at the Ken Westy mall is paid a monthly salary of thousand two that's a basic salary good a personal commission of 2.25 percent so on the personal level he has a commission of 2.45 percent and override of 3.5 percent on total store sales above 65,000 if in a given month his total personal sale is 43,200 and his personal quota is 20,000 what is his total earning if the store sale for the month was hundred and twelve thousand so with Jaden he is a supervisor so he earns both the personal commission and at the store level too because of his portfolio <coughs> position he also earns an override we need to calculate his personal commission then also calculate the override commission when we are done we combine the two together to, to get his total earnings so don't forget the override commission is calculated on the store so store sales store quota and the override rate that is what we use and we know what we use to calculate for the personal commission so now let's analyze it so now 
Jaden's total earning will be the salary plus the personal commission plus the override he enjoys because he's a supervisor. So we need to calculate all these three, combine them together. For the monthly salary, we know it's thousand two. So we are now we have to calculate the personal commission and the override commission. So now the personal commission, as you all know, is the personal sales minus the personal quota that will give you the commission amount times the personal rate of commission. So the personal commission from the question it will be 43,200 minus 20,000 to get a commission amount and you multiply by the rate at a 0 0.0245 so that means his personal commission is what 568.4 you do the same thing for the override commission you know the store sales you take away the store quota from it you multiply by the override rate for you to get the override commission. You add all the three together, you get his total <coughs> earning. Try to calculate and give me the answer in the description box or you can WhatsApp it to me. So with the override is the store sales minus store quota times the override rate. That will give you the answer. Now we have another type of commission, we call it outright commission and rebate. That is a commission or discount given on purchase and or gross or net sales. It is a type of straight commission and is usually a fixed percentage of total purchase or gross net sales. So when we talk about rebate, rebate is like a partial refund given to a customer who pays more than what is expected so if the cost of this pen is five Ghana cities and I mistakenly I paid seven Ghana cities you need to give me a rebate of what to Ghana cities it, it happens in business sometimes we pay more than what you are expected to pay so let's look at an example how do we deal with these issues so SOA supermarket gives a 4.2 percent rebate on all purchases above 1500 Stacy bought goods worth 2230.45 from the MBK supermarket what was her rebate? So the here the rebate also was like a form of discount that if you're able to um, buy above this amount, it would give you a rebate. It's like a refund, yeah, or a discount. So now let's look at the question again. She bought goods worth what? 2230 from the supermarket and according to the supermarket they give a rebate on all purchases above 1005 so will she get the rebate or not she will get because what she bought exceeds what the 1500 so now let's see how we are going to do it so she qualifies since her sale is above so now the rebate is equal to what the rebate amount times what the rebate rate so now the rebate amount will be the total purchase minus the minimum requirement it's like the it was like the quota sales minus quota so the 4.2 is not going to be on the 2230 no it's going to be the difference between the amount of goods she bought and i mean the minimum requirement that was the thousand five so it was like the quota so you have to subtract the minimum requirement from the total good shape board so the 730.4 is the rebate amount 
that is what you are going to multiply the 4.2 on so if you multiply by the 4.2 percent you are going to get 30.68 so that is the refund or the rebate Stacy will get so if you buy below 1500 that means you're not going to get a rebate you're not going to get a refund yeah that is another form of so you can get a question with all these things inside just take your time analyze and get them correct all right let's look at draws a draw is an amount made available to a sale officer or an agent as a loan against future commission that the officer or agent would earn so it's like sometimes when you are facing financial difficulties you you take a loan so at the end when your salary is in we deduct from your salary which makes sense and some of us have done before you can eat your loan before you are you are you are paid so you can eat your revenue or your, your salary before you are paid so it may or may not attract interest that one it depends on, on the organization we are not much interested in that now the aim of draw is to provide a cushion for employees against financial difficulties that they may face it's like a government worker taking a loan and at the end the loan reward deducted mm -hmm. so now let's look at an example Abigail is a representative of a supermarket. She receives a monthly salary of 18,700 as a basic salary plus 5.75 commission of all sales exceeding 37,000. That's the quota. Last month, she had a total sales of 83,900. How much was her take home earning? If she had a draw, or we let's call it a loan of 450 against her name, so that means at the end of the month, whatever she makes, 450 will be taken away. That is the idea. So Abigail's take-home pay, or we call the net pay or the net earnings. You see, all your earnings before any deduction is what we call gross earnings. After all deductions, it becomes a net earnings. So, or people call it the take home earnings. So, the take home earnings will be the total earnings minus the draw or the loan. So, if you do your calculation well, you can pause the video to do your calculation if your total earnings will be equal to the 21396.75 we have here. Then, after getting the total earnings, you take away the draw so what is left is the take home earning or the net earning so take your time to do the calculation to get the total earning so it will be the salary plus the commission then you take away the draws you should get the answer correct now like I said sometimes to um, customers can return goods to the shop where they bought them because they don't like the good again or because it was faulty such returns are taken away from total sales before commission are calculated because you've not sold it you sold five someone brought four so how many have you sold you've sold one that is how returns works so you always take returns away from sales so where return exists Commission amount is what sales minus what returns. And commission amount, commission is equal to the commission amount times the rate of commission. So in simple terms, where quota and return exist, we take both from the sales. So commission, sorry, sales minus quota minus returns. So if you are given a question, there is quota and there is return so try the quota and the return from the sales before you multiply by the rate 
to get a commission amount because both are supposed to be deducted now let's look at an ikmi here jennifer receives a monthly salary of 2450 plus commission of 4.8 on all sales above 25,000 what is the total earning if the total sale for the month is 63,000 with returns worth 5,000 so the total earning will be the monthly salary plus the commission we know the monthly salary so we need to get the commission and the commission is what commission amount times rate because there is quota here so the commission amount will be the sales minus quota minus the returns and that will be 63,000 minus 25,000 minus 5,000 so what is left will be 33,000 that is the commission amount you multiply by the rate to get your commission so to get the total earnings, you add the commission to the basic salary, then you get 4034 I hope you are doing the calculations in the background. Make sure you practice them and that will help you to understand them very well. So this is where we end today's lesson. It's been wonderful having you here and like i said earlier don't forget to like comment subscribe and share for more wonderful content like this don't forget to let me know the answers to your assignment in the description box or through my email or through whatsapp until then see you when i see you bye bye